very much for coming to the commission at short notice. We thought that it would be important to meet with you, to brief you on some issues that have arisen during the course of this evening. And I'm referring particularly to the commission's inability to declare the results as planned at 5 p.m. today. I think the commission had intended and had indicated its intention and willingness to declare the 2020 presidential election at 5 p.m. today. That is within 24 hours after the general election. However, we experienced quite a number of challenges making it difficult for us to fulfill this promise. And what had happened was the unexpected rain that occurred in many parts of the country yesterday resulted in a number of uh, you know, voting interrupted. And the result was this, of this was that long after voting, some centers had to continue their voting. And this led to some delays with voting and the subsequent collation of results. Naturally, this had an impact on our plans in the sense that our officers could not collate the results and forward them to the appropriate locations as planned. Secondly, we also experienced some challenges with the rain, and particularly in some of our areas in the hinterlands, but western north to be precise, it was difficult for our officers to travel to the regional capital and to, to send the results there. So this led to some substantial delays resulting in our receiving the results late. And this explains why the commission was not able to you know, release and, and, and declare the results as promised at 5 p.m. today. It's important to emphasize that the process is ongoing. As we speak, the commission has received 14 out of the 16 regional results. We have the National Coalition Center, where we've had representatives of the political parties since yesterday. We have two reps for each party, and they are working with our own staff. As the results come in, the party representatives review them against what they themselves have received from the regions. And once they are satisfied that the results that have come to us from the regions is a true reflection of what they have received, they then append their signatures to it before the results are brought to my attention. As returning officer of the 2020 presidential elections, I then certify these results. Out of the 14 results received, we have certified seven to date, we, to, to, to this point. We believe that by the end of the evening, we would have certified the remaining seven. We are expecting to receive the two in the early hours of this morning, that making up the 16, and then it will put us in a good place to declare the results. We've also put the seven results that we've certified, received, approved, and certified on the various social media platforms and the website of the commission. So we are treating citizen, the citizenry to visit our websites and so our social media platforms to review the results of the seven regions that have so far been certified. It is important to note, and there may have been speculations of some attempts to manipulate the results. This is false. I think the process that we have is a very transparent and participatory process. And I think any interested Ghanaian is aware that at the polling station, we have the political party agents with our officials at the polling station. At the end of the election, at the polling station level, parties then count the results, they collate them, and they document them on the face of the pink sheets, the statement of poll, and the agents of the parties then sign on to this. From the polling station level, the results are sent to the constituency coalition centers, again in the presence of the political party agents. And at the constituency coalition centers, all the results coming in from the various polling stations are collated and put on the face of the pink sheet and 
you know, signed on to by all the agents of the political parties. This is a very transparent and participatory process and involves both the Electoral Commission's officials and the political parties. This year, we have introduced a new level of transparency and inclusiveness. And what we have done is to introduce a regional collation center. So unlike the previous elections where constituency collation results were sent to, straight to the National Collation Center here at the head office, constituency results are sent to the Regional Collation Center. And there also we have the full involvement of the representatives of the political parties. So what happens is that every region collates all the constituencies in that particular region. And therefore, if a region has 20 constituencies, you find on the regional collation sheet the, the, summary, the, the details of 20 constituency results. Additionally, they, we also have the regional summary sheet, and you find a summary of 20 constituency results. And this also involves the political parties in the sense that they approve this, they verify the information that is transported onto the collation sheets at the regional level, and they append their signature to it. So this is the level of participation of the political parties, making it impossible for anybody to rig an election. And therefore, if there may have been speculations out there in the public space in the last few hours, we entreat the public to ignore it. Because the political parties append their signatures to these you know, collation sheets, regional collation sheets, starting from the polling station to the constituency and then to the region before it is sent to the National Collation Center. At the National Collation Center, I believe some of you may have witnessed what happens there. We find you have the representatives of the political parties who, when the results come in from the regions, they review it and verify it against what they themselves have received from their own agents. And the, once they are happy with it, they append their signatures to it before it is brought to the office of the chairperson for certification. It is only after that that the results are projected on our website or shared with the general public. So this is the level of participation that we see. It is important to emphasize that this year, the results are still coming in in the good old fax way and by email. And so what we are getting is not just numbers coming through some transmission, but there are photographs and images of the pink sheets and the, the collation sheets. And so for at the National Collation Center, the results that are coming in are the regional collation sheet and the regional summary sheet. All of them are signed by the agents of the political parties. And this is what we have, and this is what is presented to the political parties before certification by the chair. So we thought that it's important to express our regrets for our inability to organize and the declaration at 5 p.m. as planned. This is what had happened, the unexpected rains and the, some of the challenges that we experienced as a result of the rain. And indeed, some challenges that had occurred at the collation center made it difficult for us to to declare the results as expected. We are hoping that we should we be able to, we are hoping that in the early hours of this morning we would receive two additional results and we will thereafter be able to make the declaration to sometime tomorrow. It's also important, in the past, the issue of parliamentary results was something that was declared at the constituency level. We've noticed that there's been some confusion about the number of seats in parliament and we ensure that we treat, we, are, we assure you that tomorrow we will make this information available to you as to the number of seats in parliament which party has the number which number of seats how many independent candidates we have in parliament to put the issue of you know the number of seats parties have in parliament to rest we are collating this currently you know the information is going out on our website but this is some information that we'll share with you tomorrow so that we can put that matter to rest. We entreat you that we, en we entreat you to ignore some of the speculations and allegations that have gone out. We can actually give you copies of the sheets as they come in from the regional collation center. They are not numbers that come through a channel, as I mentioned, or through some transmission lines. 
they are just images and photographs of the signed you know, collation sheets that come from the regions. And these are approved and signed by the political parties. So we thought that we should put this matter to rest and to allay the fears of the public of anything untoward happening. We have received 14 results from the regions. They are currently, they are all at the National Collation Center. The commission cannot certify these results. And it's important to note that the commission cannot certify these results without, and, and of course the parties approve it, they, they, they take it round for them to look at, and once that process is satisfied, it comes up to the commission. So it's a bottom-up approach where you have parties looking at it and approving it and com comparing it to the information that they already have from their agents at that level. And it is after that that it is brought to the commission for certification and, and made public. So this is the process, and we thought that it would be important to highlight some of these processes to allay the fears of Ghanaians that anything untoward is happening. We entreat you, you are our media partners. Many of you have walked this journey with us, and you know this process very well. So we also entreat you that together with the commission, let us educate the citizenry and share this information to those who may not be aware of it. Because I think the peace and of this country should be paramount. And the truth is what should stand at the end of the day. And so we entreat you as partners who have walked this journey with us to highlight some of these issues and to inform the political parties about it. And maybe as a way of and enabling you to see what happens. It may be important to share the pink sheets and put them on the website as they appear. What we've done now is to you know, try to take out the information and put it in templates. But I think this evening, the seven sheets, the seven results that have been declared, we will take those pink sheets, pink uh, collation sheets, and also put them on the website so that it also provides you with some inf information as to how these things are come, come about. So we'd like to thank you very much for coming at short notice, and we look forward to engaging with you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think we should. Ma Madam Chair, very well said. Thank you very much for your presentation. Yeah, uh, the floor is open, but we'll, just a few questions, maybe just about two of them. Just about two questions. In view of the time, so, it's past 12 minutes. <laughs> so, so I, I, I want to ask. Okay. Which time exactly will the declaration be made? Exactly. <laughs> we are not out of the, out of the woods yet. So you need to put it. Mr. Sana, can you? I think he's asked this question. You can give yeah. it to the next person. So, So that is the uh, feed from the Electoral Commission HQ. This is your election HQ. And they just addressed the press conference there. Um, and I see questions being uh, posed to the uh, chairperson there by some of the journalists there. Let's listen into the question. Okay, that's good to know. So yes. I think Wednesday, okay. Wednesday, we are not able to give the exact time. I think that because you are on our platform, once the information goes out, we would share it with you, provide you with enough time for you to, you know, adequately participate. I think your intervention has been quite um, um, pl um, plausible. So keep it up. And is there anything else we can get in terms of um, just the, the things you put on the platform with what you just told us in highlight forms so that we can also share on other platforms as well? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Madam Chair, uh, you did mention that uh, so far 14 have been received, uh, remaining two. Are you able to clarify where these regions or which, which regions are these and why the results are not yet in? And then secondly, um, initially in the, in the course of the day, uh, we saw that there were social media updates, but a lot of Ghanaians are asking questions. The results that have been published are just that of people 
or parliamentary candidates who have won, why is that the case? Shouldn't all the data be represented for Ghanaians to appreciate how each candidate is performing? Why just uh, the people winning constituencies being uh, put out on social media? Thank you very much. I think at the um, moment we have 14, but the, we have two regions, Bono East and the Northern region, whose results we are yet to receive. And I think that we've had some challenges, as you know, in Bono East in Techiman, and this has, you know, left our staff a little apprehensive. And so there's a bit of, you know, tension in the environment, and so they are not able to move about freely. And this has resulted in, you know, the, the delays. We are hoping that they've assured us that things have normalized, and we believe that they'll feel confident enough to move around. So we expect that we should get the results later on today. Additionally, in the northern region, we had a, an instance where there was some challenge to some polling station mm -hmm. where I think there had been one person, an overvote by one. And I think that one of the parties had requested, because there was an overvote by one, the whole election should be annulled. And that resulted in you know, some discussions the whole day. So it also led to the delay. But we are hope, I believe those issues have been resolved. And we hope that, you know, as we have mentioned, later on today, we should be able to you know, have the full complement of the results. It's important that you know, we, I think we, we, we try to you know, inform the public about the process that unlike the constituency results, which would come in at random. So if one can come in from Central, one can come in from Volta, one can come in from Uti. In this case, you had to have the results in its totality. And therefore, if you had 40 constituencies or 45 constituencies and one was delaying, you couldn't send us the, the, uh, the regional collation sheets because you are not sending us constituency results anymore. You are sending us regional, a re regional co the collation on a sheet. And once you have 45 and you have only one delaying, you, you, it holds you back. Whilst this is a more simplified process because the commission is dealing with only 16 results that have gone through three processes, polling station, constituency, and regional, you are also you may have the challenge of one constituency or one police station in a constituency holding you then send your collation form and your summary sheet so this is what you know had led to some of the delays but as i mentioned you know we we hope that you know during the course of today we should be able to get the two uh, the two the two regions i think you also mentioned the information that we've put out, that it's been on, of candidates who have won. You know, usually the parliamentary is declared at the constituency level. I think this is the first time that we see that there, before it's, once it's declared, there's no issue and it's all dealt with down there. But it's something that we are working on. And I believe that apart from, we thought that immediately let's get the snapshots of those who had won in each constituency. But in addition to that, we have the candidates per each constituency showing the, the percentage and the, the total number of votes they garnered you know, in that constituency. And that is also coming up. I believe that you know, by the close of day tomorrow, we should have a clear picture of, of all the, um, the parliamentary seats, the number of persons who contested, the results, the number, the results they garnered, and the percentage, and, and so on. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Um, Israel, I will join you. So in the past, or in previous elections, we've, the Electoral Commission has been able to project or determine or declare the results without necessarily having the full complement of the, of the result from all the uh, constituencies. From the way, from what you're telling us, it appears you have just about two uh, constituencies <laughs> outstanding. Why don't we go ahead, or can't you determine or declare the results without waiting for these two constituencies from the way 
Mm. You're putting there are it. two regions. Okay, two regions, yeah. but two regions with two constituencies that you're saying has have issues. Yeah. Is that, you know that we haven't received the regional reports. If it does happen that you have all, let's say, 15 regions, and or you, and then you have the 16th region with a constituency having an issue, it's a different thing. But at the moment, we haven't received re, re, uh, results from two regions. Okay. And we are expecting to receive that in the later on today. Yeah, even though, <laughs> from what you're telling us, these regions have received virtually all the, constitu the constituents, except maybe one or two. That's the point I'm making, that so if we're using the previous model, you probably would have been able to you probably would have 273 constituencies to declare the results. That's why I'm saying, do, we, do you really want to stick to the original plan of having the full complement of the region where you have 273 and you can declare? I think uh, for that question, <coughs> the commission has made it very clear that we will declare the results this morning. We will do our very best today. before the close. So this is today, so we'll do it. The two regions have, one has 18 constituencies and the other one has 11 constituencies, making, I think, 29 constituencies. When the time comes for the commission to declare, and let's say the one with 18 constituencies, 17 of them are ready, 16 of them are ready, and the other one with about 11, 10, or let's say nine are ready, and we do the analysis and we realize that the remaining constituencies will not affect the outcome of the elections then what it means is that we'll go ahead and declare. And as a commission, we'll come back to revise the numbers once we have them available. And this is a standard thing which is done in election. So that's what we are going to do. So as a commission, we are committed to declaring the results today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also soon we'll come to the end of this first briefing.